Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Yakin Wood, otherwise known as Yakin the Water Ganassi, because I am blue. Um, if you play in D&D, that makes sense to you. If not, it's all good. But we're back here with another Elden Ring video, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to find two armor sets. One is Gelmir's uh, Knight armor set, and the other one is the Bloodhound armor set. And if either of those do interest you, then I'll um they, they are found in the same place, so I will show you how to uh, how to get there. And um, so this here, this is Galmir's Hero's Grave, which is where we're headed. So you'd want to have at least a bridge of iniquity, because then you can make your way. It's pretty easy to find. You make your way over to this one here, the first mount, uh, Galmir campsite, and I'll show you how to get to here from here. So you want this one at least. So we just want to. This is for anyone that doesn't have this spot already or can't find it. So you just want to make your way through here through like the, the, the battlefield and make you up here just past the pumpkin head and you're just going to go over this just this rock wall here and it's just over there so it's not too far away you'll know when you when you found it because you'll you'll go past that that rock wall and that pumpkin head dude and there'll be wolves around here And so it's just up here and through this door. And then you just take this elevator down here. And uh, here we are, Kelmir's Heroes Graves. So this is one of those chariot dungeons. If you haven't already seen a chariot dungeon, then you're about to find out. Um, just think of like Dark Souls 2. And that's, that's what it is. So there's a chariot down there. So um, I didn't really explain that, but what you want to do is like run straight down. The chariot will activate. Uh, there it goes. So the first thing, the first thing you want to do is run straight down the path and to the left here. And then like, once it comes back up here, you want to run straight down again. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I almost fucked it up. Yeah, sorry, I didn't explain that too well. So basically, we'll wait for this to pass again. Um, so you want to run straight down to the left before it has a chance to get up here. Then once it passes you again, you run down here to the right where this archer is. And then from here, it stops right here. Once it turns around, jump over the lava. The lava it doesn't damage you a lot, but it will slow you down a, like a shitload. So you want to jump through it. Okay, pull it. Wait for it to do that. So it goes back down again. You want to run to the right room here. And there's no enemies. Oh, there's an enemy in this one. My bad. Okay, there it goes. And then once it goes, once it comes back up, we want to run just there to where I'm looking right now. So once it runs past, you just want to jump, and you should be make it. And this is the first section that we have to get to. Also, if you have a dagger that has the quick step Ash of War, like this thing, that'll be really handy for later on. You don't need it. If you're just going for the armor set, but if you want to get to the boss in this dungeon, then you will need this. Once you're in here, there'll be a dude to your left here. I just killed some the main dudes, just so we didn't have to deal with it. It's like those crossbow users, so just be wary of them. There's one under here as well. He's just kind of chilling there. Sometimes he'll aggro, sometimes he doesn't. It just depends. Um, and then there'll be one up here as well. Um, also, before you go through here, that will be active, this flamethrower here. So it's on a timer. It'll reach all the way out here. So wait for it to go. So you wait at the corner here. You just run past it. And once you're in here, it'll only shoot this way and it'll shoot that way. And all you need to do is hit it and it'll turn it off. And you hit it again to reactivate it. So once you're done that, there are items in there as well with more of those crossbow users in there. So just be careful. But now this is the second part. So we just 
gonna run down there one side this comes back so as soon as it turns you just want to go and you just want to just run as fast as you can right here Okay, so again, there's just more skeletons along the way that you need to clear. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop down there if, you, there if you see the platform there. So you have to be really quick. Once it starts coming up, as soon as it passes you, you just want to go. So you want to go. Be careful not to get hit though. And just walk off slowly. And it's a bit it's a bit sketchy there, so that might take you a couple of tries, but you will get it. And then this is where the armor sets are, both of them. So that bloodhound there. You kill that bloodhound, you get the bloodhound armor set. And when you collect the item off that body, that is Gelmir's armor set. So you can I think you can sneak on this guy. If you can't I, tr I went up the ladder before you noticed me, and I just cheesed him with spells. Um, but if you don't have that, then you're just going to have to vest some normal room, but you should be fine there. I'll just try and vest him now, so it's... I'm not talking bad shit. Oh no. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, that was close. Well, there we go. I didn't. I almost goofed that. But yeah, that's that's the blood hand. You kill him, you get the armor set, which I already have. So these are the armor sets here. Um, I'll just show them off really quick. Where are they? So this is Gelmir's armor set. And. Skin was on the set. That's what it looks like. And then this is the Bloodhound armor set. Okay, so. And that's what you get off this guy. I don't know if that's what they're wearing. I think it is, yeah. That is what they're wearing. Just those guys. Um, yeah, so I will continue this video just to show you where the, how to get to the boss if that interests you. I imagine you would want to anyway, because I don't remember what item you get, but I think it's a decent item. I think it's like a, a, a rune. Not a rune, a relic or something. Uh, let me just find what I was wearing. Alright, so from here, you want to go up the ladder. And this is where you'll need the knife. Or like a dagger, not a knife. This is where you'll need the dagger, with, with quick step, or just anything. If you have like an ash of war that you can put on your weapon. You want to put quick step on that, or whatever it's called. I actually forget. Um, yeah, quick step. Okay, just quick step. So once that goes, you want to go down here into this room here. Just want to be careful though, because there is one of these shadow dudes. And I think you get his weapon just killing him once, but I'm not too sure. So as soon as it turns around, you want to go and run for this here. Just want to go in here. So it has a slow burn, so you want to make sure you have Estus on you, which I actually don't. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be close for me, but I'll see what I can do. But basically, you want to go down to the right there using this so I won't make it but basically there'll be a ladder there down to your right and you'll see where it is that down there and that'll be the boss there so yeah I didn't make it but you can see right there that platform there you just go to your right and you can make it easily like I had plenty of time even after I died um so yeah not not the uh the smoothest guide I'll be honest I should have rehearsed that a bit but you get the idea um See, so yeah, a bit of a longer video, but hopefully you enjoyed that, and hopefully that was helpful for finding those armor sets. 
and if you uh if that was helpful feel free to like it comment subscribe whatever you want to do and yeah i appreciate it